Pepper says, are you ready to do the Kamari method on all this Halloween and fall decor? I know I am. You ready? <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of corny. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. For today, we have pulled down all of the Halloween, fall, and even Thanksgiving decor so that we can do a huge Kamari method on it and declutter a lot of this stuff. Hobby has brought everything down from the attic. It's down here so that we can empty out the bins and sort everything out to see what we no longer use, what we can let go of. And this video is in collaboration with Robin from The Minimalist Home. She has invited me and a couple of her YouTubers to start an autumn motivational challenge series. We're approaching the end of summer, tears, <laughs> but there's a lot of fun stuff coming up. This is just kind of giving us that jump start as we go and head towards that season. So I decided, hey, let's just declutter all of the fall stuff because I know I have way, way too much of it. If you would like to see Robin and other YouTubers who joined in the challenge, please click on the link below so that you can see her playlist. Okay, so as I'm about to take all the contents out of these bins, lay it all over the couch. I was thinking, I know my ADHD brain very well, right? I'll stay focused enough to pull it all out, lay it all out, and then I'm going to look at it and be so overwhelmed and overstimulated that my brain's just going to be like, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to sort through this. Because I'm feeling overwhelmed, I'm going to kind of lose a little bit of that motivation and speed and focus to continue going because I'm going to be spending too much energy trying to self-soothe my nervous system from being very anxious. So to kind of transmute that energy, what I was thinking is that when we pull this stuff out, even though it's all fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, there's still subcategories, right? There's Halloween costumes, then there's Halloween decor, then there is fall decor. So I almost feel like if I start to kind of lay it out in a section, it's not gonna feel as overwhelming because I'm gonna see another subcategory to be like, okay, here's all the costumes, let's go. I have a feeling that that's gonna help my ADHD brain focus a little longer. Okay, so from that bag, we already found easy tossy tossies to begin with. So let's just put that to the side. And in this next bin is more costumes. These ones are my costumes. If I can get this tub a little. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. The clutter grim creeper is coming for me. Goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> Refocus. These are my costumes. I love my past costumes. <laughs> I love my costumes. And of course, I almost feel like the goal would be to make sure that the costumes all can fit into one bin. Oh, here's a lot of my wigs, honey. Yes, yes, yes. It's called on something, get off. Oh, this was before kids. Yup, yeah, that's how old this dress is. <laughs> oh, la la. I gotta, I gotta help this wig. She's hurt. You know, I love me. You know I love me a wig. This one's even brighter. This one's really old. I'm telling you, this is college. So we're going like 2002 here. Oh yeah, that's how old this wig is. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, now I'll stop. <laughs> so on this side, I was trying to keep all of the costumes together. It's a variety of hubbies, mine, and the kids' stuff over the years. Now for me, when I do the Kamari style method, what that looks like in my lens is that I pull everything out in one category to try and lay it out in one section so I can see it all and make decisions. But because this is Halloween, I very much could tell that I was being very distracted in pulling everything out because Halloween is so much fun. So I really had to take a moment, step back, and start to focus on taking everything out. And as I'm doing it, I didn't realize just how much stuff I had. I was shocked that there was a third huge bin of Halloween costumes and it's just very eye-opening because you don't realize how much stuff you accumulate over the years. With hoarding disorder, we have so much stuff because we never declutter anything over the years. It's a hoard and accumulation of stuff for five, 10, 
15, 20 years plus. That's why there's so much stuff in a hoarder's home. And when a hoarder tries to do a Kamari method video, well, you can see how overwhelming that can be. But I digress because I've done this multiple times that I've gotten a lot better at this. I've gotten a lot better at keeping my nervous system regulated so that I can pull everything out and look at it and start to make decisions what to let go of. And of course, Ms. Peppy is an absolute heaven, finding all the new bags and paper that she can play with. Now, this last bin is Thanksgiving. And honestly, I'm not gonna pull it out because it's just tablecloths, hot hands, plates, Thanksgiving decor that I use each and every year, and it's contained in one bin. So I'm fine just keeping this as it is. What have I done? <laughs> what? Why? Why, why did I think this was a good idea? <laughs> We're definitely at the point of the ADHD brain where it fully ran out of dopamine. You're like, yeah, let's put it all out and go through it all. And now it's like, oh my God. <laughs> I did sort of do categories, so we kind of did stick to that. So it's almost like, where do you start when you're completely feeling overwhelmed and anxious? Like, how am I going to do this? But at the same time, it's kind of like, I asked for this. I'm the one who decided to do this. <laughs> so you got what you asked for, and that was putting everything out so you could see all the Halloween stuff and fall stuff. I did it to myself, and now I feel anxious and overwhelmed. Okay. So how do I kind of transmute that energy to feel motivated again. How do I get myself motivated and kind of like be more productive and start like making decisions? And all it is is just taking that moment to be grateful that I did want to do a big Kamari method because I knew there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know that I had that I could let go and give to other people. So with that said, I can kind of shift into that energy space, kind of being grateful that's creating the motivation to be like, yeah, this is a good thing. And if I need to take a little break, take a little break. That was a lot of work. If I just need to take a 15 minute break to reset, that's great. But it's just, again, transmuting that energy into, I'm happy I did it. I'm glad I did it. It's a lot of work, but now let's start to get into this motivational state and doing more productive activity. And that for me is looking for What's the easiest thing that we can let go of? Maybe the first thing I let go of is the pumpkin I'm sitting on. <laughs> As I look at everything that's laid out and start to think a little more productively here, Marie Kondo wants you to pick something that sparks joy, right? Because that's what you're keeping. A hoarder technically has to do the reverse and start with what doesn't spark joy first because everything sparks joy and has a story to well, it. That's why we have to do the reverse of it or we'll feel overwhelmed that everything sparks joy and I can't pick anything. <laughs> okay, well, this is very simple, but still it gets that decluttering momentum going. This is a Spirit of Halloween coupon from 2022. Uh, okay, now <laughs> here's that costume that we're not gonna wear. All right, that can go. Bounty Hunter, my son was 10 when he wore this. It, yeah, eight to 10, it's an eight to 10. He's not gonna be able to wear this. And then there's my youngest, it's way too small. So there we go, we can let that go. So now that we got the decluttering momentum going, we can start going through the process and picking out things we wanna keep and what we wanna let go of. And as I look at this pumpkin, doesn't spark joy. I can very easily let this go. This does spark joy, super cute, but ghost, not so much. We can totally let him go. Another thing I noticed was this happy harvest sign. It's really old, but it's not sparking joy, so we can totally let it go. This, this right here, yep, okay, we're feeling strong. I can, I can let that go. It's cute, yeah, but I've never used it, so it's just been in the bin every single year. This pumpkin, um, it's cute, it is cute. I don't ever remember putting it out. I feel like, it always like, I try to put it somewhere and then it goes back in the bin. So we can let that go. Hey, we're doing pretty good, right? Kind of glassy speckled pumpkins. They are kind of cool. I mean, look around me. 
How many pumpkins do I need? I don't, my house is only 1,400 square feet. <laughs> I don't have room for all these pumpkins. We can let this go. So something else that I noticed is that I have a lot of fall Halloween craft supplies. So I'm grabbing all of them and putting them into one bin because I am making you all a promise that I am not buying any new fall Halloween decor this year and probably the next couple of years. So if I have the itch to actually get a new fall Halloween decor in my house, I'm going to create it with only the things I have in my house. So let's continue looking for things that we can let go of. And this pumpkin, I've never used it. It always sits in the tub. It even has its tag. We can let that go. This pumpkin too, it's not really, I don't know. It's okay. I can let it go. These flowers, I mean... I don't really care for them. They're not sparking joy. We can let that go. And this Ziploc bag does have fall like craft supplies, but they're so old. They're like from the 90s. We can definitely let that go. And speaking of something else that's old, this candle holder, this is old. This is like from the 2000s. We can totally let that go as well. And this mason jar with fall picks kind of looks like a makeshift craft I did to kind of like fill a space. But yeah, I'm not feeling any joy. We can absolutely let that go. Now over here in this section, there's a lot of fall decorations that go in my living room, but it's good fall decorations. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the good Sparks Joy fall decorations back into this tub because I'm not ready to put out my fall stuff out maybe in like three or four weeks, like mid-September, third week in September. I'll be ready to put it out and I'll know exactly where it's all at. The couch is pretty much like this. The chaise part of the couch is pretty much emptied out. This stuff right here is kitchen, right? So I like my kitchen stuff a lot and it's fairly new because I, that's why I recently started decorating the kitchen stuff. So I think it's best if I start putting some of that kitchen stuff away, just packing it away that I know that I'm going to use. That way I can kind of look over and be like, yeah, I'm not going to use this. Like this pumpkin right here, I know, yeah, I got so many pumpkins. We can let this pumpkin go. It doesn't go in the kitchen. It doesn't have a home. Another one of those Dollar Tree pumpkins that I'm not really a fan of. Yeah, we can let that go. And now that we opened up the space, I can get to the stuff right here on top of the couch. And as I scan the area and look, I mean, I can tell right away this pumpkin, I'm probably not going to really use it. So we can go ahead and let this go. And underneath of these pumpkin buckets, there is another ceramic pumpkin. This one's old, we have so many, we can totally let this go. And this box right here says Thanksgiving tree. Now, this is a Lennox piece. It was given to me a while ago, but I have never used it. Is it pretty? Sure, but let's be honest, I'm, I'm not gonna use it. I've never put it up. I can appreciate the artwork of it, but honestly, it's time to let it go. And in these boxes again, we have some more fall decor that, is it cute? I mean, yeah, it's dated. It's from the 2000s. And I'm just, I'm not going to use it. I'm not. As much as I like them, as much as I appreciate these pieces, I haven't pulled them out in years, in absolute years. So based on that, it is. It's, it's time to let all this go. All right. So everything that you see in this section up on the couch, what's behind me, and over here to the side, we're going to let it all go. It's time. It's time to let it all go. Hubby is 100% on board for letting all of his costumes. He's letting every single piece go. And my kids are also ready to let their stuff go. They don't fit in them. They haven't fit in them in years. So we might as well let another child enjoy them. All right, guys, here we are. This is the Tossy Tossy pile. This is what we're letting go of in one episode. This is a lot of stuff. This is so much stuff that I almost don't feel like a hoarder. <laughs> um, what it really shows is that somebody who was a level four hoarder, extreme hoarder, couldn't let go of anything, would stress out if I let go of five things in one day. Can I let go of hundreds of stuff within a two day span because of recording? <laughs> and is proof that anyone can let go. 
that anyone de can declutter, that even somebody with hoarding disorder can start to change the behaviors and the patterns to where this feels good. And I don't feel anxious letting all of this go in one time. I don't. I, it's a very odd feeling, honestly. <laughs> it's a very new feeling. And maybe that's what I say. It's a very new feeling. And it's like, oh, I finally kind of get it now when people like let go of so much stuff in one time and have an extreme declutter and they feel lighter. I finally feel that. So let's celebrate it. Let's celebrate how great we are and that anyone has the capability and the possibility to declutter. You can do this. And my hope, my prayer, is that this video motivated and encouraged you to clean, declutter, and let something go in your home today too. Oh, poor Miss Pepper, all this work, oh my goodness, it just tired her out. All right, good night, Peppy Pep.